Okay, y'all, he's working on this window trying to get it out. They put it in there upside down when this was a convenience store. If you hadn't seen that, you better go to the back to the beginning to look. This one has been open for about 10 years. Basically, they put it in upside down so they could get their window unit up higher. So they could blow air out up here at your head instead of down at your knees. The, the uh, cash register was right here. So, basically, they flipped that window upside down. Well, when they did that, these uh, actual locks on these windows are like at a 45. So they hold like hell when they're down. You can't pick them up. But if you got them upside down, you can tap them and they'll fall open because the locks are cut at a 45 to make it easier to open. Um, so you don't have to clear the tops of them to open up. So he's getting that window knocked out of there, or not, hopefully not knocked out of there pulled out of there and we're gonna spin it around and put it right back in. That's all they did, we'll re-silicone it, put it back in there and lock it in, redo the trim around the inside the windows, then we'll put this frame back in there. And we'll be done with it, uh, that window anyway. So that's what we're doing now and uh, he's trying to get it all taken care of. That's what he's working on. Y'all this window, we're taking it out because it's upside down. He's out there on a the bucket. He's going to take it out of there. They glued it back in. We're going to take it out. Basically, they got it upside down, so all the water is running in the bottom down there. So we've got to take it out, and uh, there's no way to lock it. These locks are angled like on a 45, so when the wind is up, if you tap it with your hand, it'll fall open. So it's been open all these years, and that's why all the stuff we brought it to it here shortly. We're trying to get these uh, this one to change or get it out, and then we're going to change it. So we will let y'all know when we get it out of here. Okay, y'all. Y'all see the rock there? That's from the air conditioner turned upside or the window turned upside down, and the air conditioner all screwed up on it. So we're pulling that out. We're going to put a new two before in there. You know, everybody's like, "Oh my God, you got rock." Really, what it boils down to is you got you need a three foot two by four, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it sounds like it's a big deal, but it's not that big of a deal. We're gonna uh, we'll pull it out, and realistically, you could have put a a foot long two by four in there, um, but we're not. We're gonna replace the whole bottom seal. That's what it's called. So we'll take that out. And replace it and see what we can do with it and let you know something here shortly. There you go, you good, bad, and ugly. The, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly here, we're uh, pulling the bottom seal plate off. We had to uh, pull the drywall. The drywall was rotted basically, so we pulled the drywall. So here you go, y'all, we pulled it all out, everything. Everything that's rotted, we pulled out of there. We're gonna cut these nails off here, put new two by four in here, and new two by four in the middle, and new two by four across the top, and it'll be ready to put the window back in. And we got to put the insulation back in. That insulation we're gonna replace. We got some right there to put back in there. So they don't even use two by fours; they use two by twos. So we're gonna put this in. Two by, two by. Y'all didn't really think we was gonna leave that, did you? So, 
We're getting it together here. Okay, y'all, we got the bottom. We don't like how the top looks. We're gonna change it too. But we got all that done. We got the rock taken out of there. We got the little bit of mold that was over there. That probably wouldn't hurt nothing, but we went ahead and took it out anyway. And uh, we're knocking this one out here. So we got all that done, like I said. We're gonna pull this top one because we don't like the way that top two before looks. So we'll, uh, we'll pull that out, throw it away, and uh, see what we can get into. Okay, y'all, so we got the bottom, we got that taken out, and we've got the top replaced. Now we're gonna put trim around the inside here. We're gonna put the trim around the inside. It's a two by four wall. So that's five inches wide, I believe, because the uh, uh, four and a half plus half inch drywall on each side, or three inch drywall on each side. So it's like four, a little four inches is what we made them. So they'll probably have to cut them down lengthwise, which they'll find out in a minute. Thickness wise, they'll have to cut them this way. But we're gonna use that to trim it out. Go across the bottom, across this, across here, and across that side. Okay, y'all, here's the uh, trim work we're doing. Getting that done. He's uh, popping it in place there. Basically, uh, they cut it just a tad long, and then when they when it goes in, it pops in place, it locks in there. You don't have, you don't have to worry about nothing. A Milwaukee uh, fuel finish nailer we did all of the well the rest of the gel with it if you hadn't seen those videos go back and see those where we did a bunch of their roofing that's the gun we replaced in the middle of that series so we, it did all the gel it's done all this mobile home it's done a lot of work in another building i've got and it hasn't had any problems at all so you know uh we thought it might be that the gun that old gun was just a bad design but we bought that gun used at a pawn shop so we don't know how long that how old that gun actually was and i've been using any kind of any kind of every kind of nails you could possibly use but here we go that's what that that's what it looks like there looks perfect we replaced all that up there that needed to be replaced replaced everything that was rotten in here um pulled that insulation out we're gonna put new insulation in that insulation is good. It had a little mold on the drywall, so we pulled it off. That insulation is good up there, but we've got everything replaced in here. Now it's time for the window to go back in. We're gonna caulk it on the outside and uh, slap the window back in there the right way. It was upside down. He's gonna clean the caulk off the outside. And uh, we're gonna flip that window, stick it right back in the hole. The problem is with them windows upside down, there's no, <laughs> The water is not designed to hit the top of that window. If it hits the top of that window, it's coming right in. So, you know, there's never any water dripping on the top of the window. So when they spun that around, the way that window was designed is backwards now. So it was never designed to be upside down like it was. So that was where the problem's at. So we're gonna flip it back over the way it was designed. There's nothing wrong with the window. It was just upside down. So we're gonna flip it and fix it. And uh, then we'll get back to it. <laughs> Maybe that Reba from Randall.
Ça y est. ¿Cuál es el problema? <laughs> Yo, this is the third time he's put it up. <laughs> And it's the first time it's fit to hold. <laughs> ¿Qué es el problema? ¿Qué es el problema, Dan? ¿Cuántos tiempos? ¿Tres o cuatro? Uno de tiempo. Ah. Mucho silicone o necesito más? Es bueno. Es bueno. Ok, yo, so there it is. Obviously, we still got a little touching up to do here, but we got the wind in. Ok, is it five temples or six temples for the window? But they got it. They got it? <laughs> it, uh, you know. And you don't have to get it on the first one. Six tiempos for the windows, for six, the ventana. Six Mo temples. Mucho bueno for the escuela. See what? Yeah, maybe. It's one tiempo. <laughs> he said he's, uh, he done it six times. So he's in the school here trying to learn how to do it. So they, uh, mismeasured there a couple times. But anyway, that's, that's how it works. Sometimes you don't make it perfect every time. So anyway, we've got that in. We've got it buttoned up. We'll have it buttoned up for this evening, obviously. Where well, we don't have to worry about nothing. We're not going to get to the installation today, but we will get to it. So we're getting there. It's coming along. Coming, coming, coming along. So we'll get it all done here shortly. But y'all, if you like what you see here, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about us, and uh, come on back and see us on the next video. Uh, hit that little bell button down there, and it will tell you when we're going to have another one. Uh, we try to have them twice a week. Uh, a lot of times we do a car video and a uh, building video, mobile home video, a remodel video, I should say. I also play around with cars. Uh, play around with machinery uh we do all kinds of stuff but that uh that's what we do around here so we uh we'll figure it all out and see what we like what we don't like how we like it how we don't like it, all that good stuff so they're cleaning up we try to clean up at the end of the day every day but you know, some, some days it don't get to happen. Some days it does happen. Okay, y'all, we're putting the insulation back in here. So we're getting it uh, covered up and uh, get it ready for all this to go back together. We got the window back in. We're gonna put, we got insulation up there. We're gonna put drywall there and drywall down here. And we'll be ready to go. Okay, y'all, we got it all put back in there. This down here we're not going to finish because this is basically going to go all the way down the wall and you'll never see none of that. But we got it drywall up, got it done, you know, and uh, up there we got a nice piece in. We're going to paint that up. We're putting the interior window back in it, clean it up, wham, bam, we're done. Y'all, this is getting way too long, way too long. So we're gonna cut right here. We'll come back in a couple of days with the, the finale of this one, the room anyway. And uh, give us a thumbs up for filming. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. And we'll catch you on the next one.